judgment of Carrion's logic engine confirms our suspicions. The encoding rights used by our traitor and in Galen's logs both bear a marked resemblance to those of the chapter Honor Guard. With a copy of their codes, I could finally identify the traitor. Commander, to finally identify our traitor, we must obtain the transmission codes of the Chapter Honor Guard. To do so, you must penetrate to the heart of the Blood Raven's firebase and destroy the stronghold of Captain Diomedes. This will trigger an automatic signal from his battle barge, from which I can gain the codes we need. Between us and those codes stand both the Honor Guard and our own brothers from the Third and Fourth Companies. The entire area is patrolled by our chapter brothers. They will fire on us without hesitation. Only stealth and non-lethal attacks can prevent bloodshed. Diomedes has established a perimeter of satellite bases. Field generators and automated tarantula sentry guns are standard issue for such temporary positions. Captain Diomedes adheres to the chapter's tactical doctrines. The Codex calls for a tactical feint when a satellite position is destroyed. Nearby forces fall back to a strong firing line, either drawing their attackers into the teeth of bolter fire or calling in artillery. If we destroy the field generators, we can use this to push through the perimeter without killing blood ravens. We must find a way to reach that stronghold without killing blood ravens. Some blood ravens have fallen to chaos. Then we fight and kill those. But to murder those simply doing their duty to chapter an emperor, could we ever recover from such an act? The heretic apothecary Galen is nearby, Commander. We cannot leave a servant of chaos in the Honor Guard. We must confront and expose him, or his evil will continue to infect the chapter. Proceed cautiously and target the field generators. We are here to recover data, not kill blood ravens. is clear. scouts. Maintain camouflage scouts. Cover. Foot soldiers trying to get a precise count. Maintain camouflage scouts.
So, who is the traitor? The decoding rights needed to identify him are not yet complete. The codes did allow me to uncover additional data from the Judgment of Carrion, however. I believe I know where the Black Legion's true base of operations is hidden on planet Aurelia. The Honor Guard's codes unlocked a great deal from the Judgment of Carrion's logic engine. This record from Apothecary Galen seems especially relevant. Librarian Kairos grows more morose by the hour. He is a mighty asset against the things lurking in this ancient space hulk. But he does little to keep our faith strong. At morning prayers he recounted a great battle on a lost world named Aurelia. A terrible demon beset this planet and summoned the mighty warp storms. Blood Ravens faced the demon in a terrible battle at a chapter keep. This should have inspired us all. But Kyrus made it a tale of woe. He described his brothers dying one by one to bind this demon, but called their sacrifice pointless. The fiendish creature, he said, was yet free. And somehow, even before Kyrus mentioned it, I knew this creature's name, Ulcare. A demon bound in the keep on planet Aurelia. Surely Eliphas seeks its release. I share your thoughts, Librarian. I can locate the keep's remains if we return to Aurelia.